Hey guys, Rani here, your go-to instructor if you want to learn how to design with Canva. Today coming back at you with a new tutorial about Canva and today we are going to learn more about Magic Resize. So Magic Resize is a feature for Canva for work users. So you will need to have the paid version of the app in order to use it. So let me show you how this works. Uh, for this, I'm going to start with a design that I've already created. Let's say this one, which is a thumbnail for one of my videos. All right, so we have this. Actually, it's more than a thumbnail. It's a project that I used to create all the graphics in one of my videos. So if you are familiar with the group, you might recognize the video. Okay, so let's say uh, I want to magically resize this to use this in different formats. So this format is the presentation format, 1920 by 1080 pixels. Uh, and let's say I want to use this for um, a, a Facebook cover, but also a Facebook post and maybe some other um, dimensions that I need to run, let's say, a social media campaign. I want to be consistent across all my channels and I don't want to start a new document and start over from scratch and recre recreate, reproduce the same document in another dimension. I want to use the same one and to have a collection of consistent looking uh, visuals that I can post on social media. So Magic Resize will help you achieve just this. Again, this is for Canva for work users only. This will not work. You won't find this, uh, this button on your Canva like the free account of Canva. But if you are a Canva for Work user, you will see the resize button right here. So you just click on it and then you can choose between the different formats right here. And you, Canva gives you a bunch of different formats. So let's say, first, you know what? Because this, is, this document has a lot of pages and I would like this to have only two pages. So I will uh, copy this design. So I'm going to file. Uh, make a copy okay I will rename this copy let's say magic resize resize demo okay and then I'm going to delete some of the slides I don't want so I don't want this one and let's say I will use the second one all the others I don't want them here so I'm going to delete them all that's why I created a copy because I don't want to delete this uh, project from my uh, Canva account because I'm using it again and again. So I'm closing this. So now I have two slides here on this presentation. Let's say I want to create other documents, other formats to post on social media. So I can go custom dimensions. So this is very useful if you have a specific type of canvas of document that you want to create. You can simply insert its dimension here and this is the classical like custom dimension project you have pixel inches millimeters or centimeters i'm not going to go custom dimensions i want an instagram post a facebook post a facebook cover and maybe an a4 document all right so this sounds about right maybe also a youtube channel art so that's the youtube banner for your channel okay so that's what I want. So you select them all and then you just click on copy and resize and Canva will automatically open the, all the document, each document. So each document size in a different tab. So you see here, one, two, three, four, five different tabs have open. And uh, those are my magically resized documents. So this is the original one, Canva update. No, this is the one I copied. This is the magic resize demo. So that's the original one, my two slides. And these one, two, three, four, five actually have the name. If you look at the tab, it says Instagram post, Facebook post, Facebook cover, A4 document and YouTube channel art. So uh, let's look at the Instagram post. Of course, um, Instagram has a square format here on, on Canva. So you will have to adjust a, cu a couple of things, right? For example, here, the background, you have to stretch it a little bit like this, then what you can do is to lock your background so you can select the rest of the elements and stretch them, make them bigger so you can actually work with them. 
and then you just simply rearrange like fine tune your design in order for it to fit well and to be uh, exactly what you need for the platform that you're using. I'm not saying everything is going to be perfect from the get go, but it will definitely um, it will definitely give you some some nice edge on what is going on and, and, and you will spare a lot of time just by using the magic resize. So that's for the Instagram. Uh, again, it is not perfect, but it will definitely help you. Uh, so this one is the Facebook post. So again, I'm going to stretch the background and then rearrange some of the elements. So here, one little tip when you're working with the grid. So this thing right here is a grid with my gradient inside of the grid. If you are working with a photo over a grid, uh, Canva will have this tendency of kind of swallowing your photo. If you don't want this to happen, if you're like this and you don't know what to do, two things. You can go escape on your keyboard. No, actually this is not working, sorry. You, you have to press the control or command key if you have a Mac. So holding the control key, you see the photo it doesn't go anywhere. So you just hold it. I'm holding my click right here and I can position it, release my click, release the control key or the command key if you have a Mac. So now I'm going to stretch this one a little bit bigger, making it like this and stretch my photo. I could also do something like this. Again, copying this, not the photo, putting it here and you can really like work with your graphic you can ungroup you can find the best way to uh, rearrange your design but what i'm trying to show you here is what magic resize can do for you it can really help you save time not recreating your designs from scratch but simply using them uh, and resizing them in different uh, different dimensions so here if we go to the facebook cover again have to stretch the background a little bit. I would recommend for a Facebook cover to keep your elements pretty much in the middle. So this is pretty good already. I will even maybe bring this one a little bit closer because uh, Facebook will look different ways uh, based on the device you are connecting to Facebook with. So if you are connecting to Facebook from a computer, of course, you will have a larger uh, banner, but if you are looking from uh, your phone, for example, then the banner will be ca pretty much like crumbled into the center of the screen. So I would recommend you keep your important elements into a safe zone here in the middle. Okay, so this actually is a pretty good configuration for a Facebook banner. Uh, moving on to the A4 document, you have the A4. You can again stretch your background, rearrange your uh, visuals right here and just simply find what's working for you. So again, the command button here allows me to move elements and not have my photo being absorbed in the background. Okay, uh, so this is how you use Magic Resize. It's very convenient in order to create a series of consistent uh, visuals, consistent documents without having to recreate them from scratch. So um, show me or tell me in the comments of this video, like how you use Magic Resize, what do you use it for? Uh, this, the only thing I want you to remember is that this is a Canva for work feature. It doesn't work for the free account. So I hope this video was useful and I will see you in the next video.